Hey guys, it is November 4th. Um, I decided to do this video without a hat on. I got hat hair, so just bear with my hat hair. Um, and I'm gonna do my video for the day. Um, I was gonna, you know, get on Terry's website and kind of go through some things. Um, you know, uh, go through some more concrete things about the history of microwave weapons um, and some more concrete, just concrete information, um, you know, on on patents and things like that, um, COINTELPRO and things that can can really prove that this is going on and just get get more awareness of um, you know the facts surrounding um, you know what's what's happening to target individuals. Wow, really, my hair looks really bad, guys. Um, that looks a little bit better. Um, but as as all things that I do, um, I seem to get an idea, and then, you know, God kind of takes it away from there. Um, he takes it away from there and kind of puts it in a direction that, that he wants it to go in, and that's, that's great. I mean, I wouldn't succeed in life if, if that didn't happen. Um, and, you know, something happened last night that, that's weighing heavily, heavily on my heart, and I want to, um, you know, tell you about, uh, two very special people in my life and a lot of other target individuals' lives and just human beings' lives in general. Um, I, um, you know, last night I, uh, Linda, Linda C., uh, and some of y'all who, who get on the calls, y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, some may not know her, but she has a call on Friday night. Uh, it's Friday night on Talk Shoe, 6 Pacific Time, uh, 8 Central Time. Uh, it's the Talk Shoe number, and then the PIN number is 140091. Um, I, I didn't get to the, I was sleeping during the call because I slept during the day. Um, and I woke up about an hour after the call ended. Um, but then last night while I was awake, it's, it's probably about, it's about eight, it's eight in the morning, uh, where I am. Um, and so, you know, I've been up all night and I listened to the recording of the call on TalkShoe, which you, if you miss calls, you can go in and, and listen to the recordings. And, um, uh, my heart broke uh, because two very, very special women in my life are going through a lot of trauma and pain from this program. Uh, Linda C. being one of them, uh, you know, she had to put her dog, uh, Daisy, who was four, uh, 14 years old, she had to put her down yesterday because, um, you know, because her attackers were hitting hitting the dog so hard that the dog could barely walk. Um, and she, it had just been so long, and she didn't want to see her dog in pain anymore. Um, you know, so she, she did have to, to euthanize the dog. Um, you know, and, and she's very upset about that, and it, it is from, from this targeting. Um, and then I listened uh, more, and... Um, so I'll just use her first name. Uh, if you're on the calls, you probably know her. But Sue, uh, Sue came on the call and was just experiencing so much pain, uh, just being hit in the head uh, with directed energy weapons. Uh, you know, the directed energy weapon systems like microwaves or whatever they're they're hitting her with. Um, you know, experiencing so much pain that she was having trouble breathing. And this is one of the strongest people. Uh, both of these ladies are two of the strongest people that I've ever known in my life. I'm so glad that I that I know them, that I've met them. The two of the most beautiful souls, uh, not just important targeted individuals, but just important human beings. Uh, great human beings, way better than you know, just uh, good citizens. Uh, just stellar human beings that are a credit to our our species. Um, but you know, it's it's weighing heavily on my heart. I know I promised uh, to, you know, I'm going to put out some 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 real concrete information. I've got you know I've got a, a whole month to do this, but this was very very heavy uh, on my heart. And God kind of you know He takes things away. Some you know, he, 
he kind of points you in a certain direction, your heart in a certain direction when you start something sometimes. And this is, this is the direction that I'm pointed in. Um, you know, first of all, I wanted to tell you about uh, these two beautiful women inside and out um, who've helped so many people. You know, both of their philosophies in life is, is you know, they're, they're being, you know, tortured. Their pets are being, you know, Linda's C's pets are being tortured. Actually, Sue's cat that her attackers are also hitting her cat. But these are women who, when they are being tortured, um, their first response is, how can I help others that are going through this? And um, I've never known, you know, better people in my life. Um, so I had kind of two, um, two goals with this video is uh, let's, let's all please, you know, um, target individuals, people who are going through this experimentation and people who have not had experience with it, um, please, please send up so many prayers for them. Just pray for them as much as you can. Uh, these two women, they help others all the time. That's what they're all about. Um, and they're suffering right now. Um, I know that Daisy's uh, gone up to doggy heaven. I look at I look at Pepper, and you know I think about that. I think about how you know she's been hurt during this. Her hearing is gone. Um, and it just is incredibly heart wrenching and just didn't need to happen. You know, it happened because of this awful, you know, um, business of death, um, as I guess, I guess what you would call it. Um, you know, th these crimes, it's, it's happened because of the, these crimes and, um, you know, and then just Sue was in a lot of pain on the call, and she, she never asked for help, and she always just helps other people. Um, but, you know, her torture has been so awful this month. Uh, they don't let up on her, um, and she's a, a spiritual person, uh, you know, compassionate, empathetic, uh, you know, empathetic almost to a fault where she feels others' pain so much. And just wants to help them you know that's all she wants to do um and the people who are attacking her have no mercy on her and are just you know doing whatever they want um it's crazy these are two women who are the last people uh in the world who deserve something like this uh these are women who uh you know as a as an american male uh we should be protecting and making sure that they're comfortable and can do whatever they want in life because what they want to do in life is help people and help their communities. Um, so my first goal was was please, you know, and I'm going to say a prayer at the end of the video, um, but uh, please, uh, you know, people who are experiencing this experimentation and people who, uh, you know, don't know a lot about it uh, or people who, you know, are not experiencing the experimentation but uh, do know about it, please send up your prayers. Please send up all every prayer that you have uh, for these two women because they're going through a hard time right now. And I'm going to, I'm just going to be praying all day. I'm going to actually, you know, try and, um, you know, Sue helps me so much. She helps me when I'm in pain, you know, and I, you know, I, I was, you know, I slept on the leather uh, chair last night and my attackers were hitting me right across the head. Um, it's and it seemed like an external beam like burning my head um but you know what she's experiencing is uh is so much pain and she she never complains and she's she's so tough so you know i know as a uh, as a target individual and just a person that you know what they're doing is is so dreadfully painful um you know because she has techniques for you know breathing um breathing techniques and healing techniques and um you know, she, she actually had a, a practice of, um, you know, spirit healing and physical healing uh, before, before this happened to her. Um, but my second goal in this, guys, is um, I feel that it's important, and I didn't think I was going to go here. Um, I really did. I thought I was just going to be doing straight patents and, you know, vehicular stalking and telling y'all what, what I'm going through. I really realized during this that, you know, God's turning my mind to what's in my mind and my heart to what's important in this, what's important for me and what's important for people who aren't experiencing this to know. 
um, you know, th this does have, you know, advanced technology that's hidden, um, experimentation and torture, but the people that it's happening to, I never, um, I, I kind of didn't realize it until it's like, until I'm going through every day and I'm making a video every day, so I'm kind of thinking about what's going on every day. And I realize what's what's really heavy on my heart and what's really impacting me that I may not always think about to make a video about is these these wonderful people. And I'm talking about better than just law-abiding citizens. Like law-abiding citizens, yes, but uh, the greatest amongst us, the, the, the greatest human beings I've met, they're always helping people, you know, intelligent kind um i've i've never met better people and this includes you know most people uh on on those conference calls um and so this is uh this is what i want to do the video about and that second goal is to to let people i know that the ti's understand this target individuals people who experience this experimentation you understand how wonderful the people who are being hurt are uh, but I really want to um, I really want to bring that across for people who are not experiencing this experimentation who may not think you know who you know maybe or you know just don't know about it um, these are really good people these are great people these are the best people uh, who deserve this kind of treatment the least and um, to, to see them, you know, and, and, and I don't live in the same state as them. Uh, you know, we connect on the conference calls and, and talk by texts and, you know, try we try and stay in touch as much as possible, but you can't understand the feeling of, um, of a man who knows women who are in that much pain and, you know, all we can do, and I, I wasn't on the call last night, I wish I was on the call, uh, to kind of just be there for Sue, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call her today. She's always there for me, you know. When I'm in when I'm in a bad position like this, um, but I will be there for. Her. I wish I was there last night, um, but that is, a, 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 you know, listening to this recording and listening to her in pain like that. Such a tough person, uh, such a tough person that could go through anything. You know, I think that she could, you know. Yeah, you know, and I don't want to use this. Just she could have something bad happen to her that hurts, and she wouldn't blink an eye uh, to see them go through this much pain um, to where it's like they have trouble breathing. Um, and she doesn't want to call. You know, she doesn't want to cause trouble or be a burden for anybody else. You know, she she wants to help people. Um, and actually, she did. It was you know, it was a it was a really good, not a good call because people were in pain, but she remained strong even in that time when she needed help she ended up helping everybody else too um you know by helping her she was helping them and and they were helping her and it was just i mean awful an awful thing but um you know that's that's the kind of stuff that happens uh you know in our group in our community is that people really put it on the line for each other and we help each other um you know, when, when we're in a lot of pain. Um, so I want to convey to people who maybe don't believe this or, um, you know, just don't think it has anything to do with you. The people that are going through this are the best people, um, you know, the best people in the world, the best people that I've ever known with the greatest souls, the greatest empathy, intelligent, uh, you know, they just, they just want to help, you know, um, and these are, I, and, and these, and I want to say that again, you know, you know, these women that I'm talking about, they are um, not just great examples of target individuals who are helping out. They are great examples of human beings. Um, so I felt like I needed to make this video. Um, I felt like I needed to make this video about them um, to please let's lift up all of our prayers uh, for them in their situations, just to tell you a little bit about them. Um, you know, I don't want to go through their whole histories or give away too much personal information about them, but just to tell you how wonderful they are and how much they help other people. Um, and then, and then to how, how awful their attackers treat them. These attackers who are on these, uh, you know, directed energy weapons platforms, 
you know, torturing on shifts or, you know, however they're automating it uh, to send signals uh, to, to their brains and their bodies. They are ruthless. 